So let's talk for a second about the Logitech keyboard. So I've owned this keyboard for about four years. And the funny part is, is that the price didn't go down. It's still 169 on Amazon. And sometimes you have a discount, but all of the time it's around that price. This keyboard was the best purchase I ever had, hands down. It's a great keyboard with multiple functionalities. And in this video, we'll talk all about that. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Let me start off with saying that this keyboard is not a gaming keyboard. This is a keyboard for people who write a lot who do a lot of creative work but it doesn't have that mechanical click on it what it does have is this chickled style keys with this indent in it and that's something that's a game changer the way these keys types just with that in indent in them makes the whole typing experience something else but this keyboard is also known for this knob so if we turn it up Right here, we see that this knob is more visible. It's definitely something I use a lot. It's not like, um, I don't know, the MacBook touch bar that you don't use at all. This knob is there to be used and you will be using it for multiple functionalities. Let's say, for example, you want to turn the brightness of your display on. Well, therefore, you just have to press and turn that knob. You can also adjust the volume of your computer just by without, without having you pressing on it, you can just turn that knob. If you are someone who use Photoshop a lot or After Effects or something like that, it's well integrated with Adobe Premiere programs such as Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator. You can adjust the color by just turning this knob. And the best part is it has this click mechanism on it. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it, but I'm that click make mechanism let you adjust something very precisely so we know in in color world you have hex colors and there are millions of colors for professionals you can use this knob to like like select precisely that color that you're looking for but enough about this knob but because this keyboard has way more than logitech says on the website let's go further to this area we have a knob that turns on calculator by just click on clicking on it you can take a screenshot of your screen by just clicking on this thing right here. Uh, page up and page down, that's not something that new on a keyboard. We see that all the time. Uh, but the best part I like about this keyboard is that it integrates with multiple devices. So let's say you have an iMac like I have now, and I have, I don't know, an iPad next to it. Well, with just a click on, with just a click on the key, I can just switch to my iPad. Let's say I've uh, connected my iPad to this key, to key number two. I just have to click on it and I can right away type on my iPad further. If I want to go back to my iMac, I just have to click on number one and that way I can continue my typing on my iMac. So as you see here, the lights are lit, nothing new under the sun. But the best part about this keyboard is that it detects whenever your fingers are at the keys. So if you go with your fingers near the keys, that backlight will turn on. Um, it's all, all the time turned off just to, just to be easy on battery, I guess. But whenever you are ready to type, those, those lights will turn on automatically. Obviously, you can turn them down so that you don't have to think about it. But if you turn them on, you don't have to think about battery life because they will be turned off automatically without, without you having thinking about them. Speaking of, speaking of battery, this thing fully charged will serve you for about two weeks. Now, I know the Apple keyboard may uh, stay for a month, I guess, but the functionalities that this keyboard has is demands demands way more from your ba battery than the Logic keyboard. Let's face that. It has USB-C import, so you can connect it to, us to a USB-C that's right connected to your iMac or whatever com computer you have, and that way you can charge it without having you thinking about it. Whenever, um, whenever the keyboard is fully charged, this thing will light green and you know that your keyboard is fully charged. You can connect this keyboard with Bluetooth, Bluetooth and also it comes with a Logitech unifying receiver. I've made a video about that in the, I've made a video about that in the past. Check it out here. That way you see how you can connect your Logitech keyboard to a receiver uh, and you don't have to turn Bluetooth on. The build quality of this Logitech keyboard, it's superb. It's made out of plastic, but this is high-end plastic. We have here an aluminum bar, and this aluminum bar is way thicker than the keyboard. That way allows you to elevate 
the keyboard just to make it adjustable for your hands. That's something I find very cool about it. You don't have those things that elevate your keyboard, but after a while you find them broken on your desk. No, you don't have that. It's a fully metal bar that elevates your keyboard and that way you have a nice position for your hand whenever you're typing on it. And yeah, that's actually it. I really, really love this keyboard. If I would have, if I might recommend one thing out of my tech arsenal, this thing would be very high on the list. We saw that the Logitech mouse is also a great purchase. You will not regret it. Absolutely not. I've made a video about it in the past. Maybe I'll make a new video, an updated video about this very mouse. So stay tuned for that. But this Logitech keyboard is this, is just the best keyboard I've ever owned. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you find it helpful. Leave in the comment section below what you think about this keyboard. As always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, turn on that notification bell on so that you'll be notified whenever I post a video. That's it for today and I see you on the next one. Bye.